growing up, uh, my, my parents split whenever I was really young. Uh, and so my dad wasn't really in the picture at all. Didn't see him much. Um, and, you know, obviously had some woundedness and, and some bitterness from that whole ordeal. Um, and then whenever I was 10 years old, um, I had found out that I was going to have a half brother. So my dad and his new wife were having a baby. And so there's a lot of excitement that, you know, is going along with that. Um, but uh, unfortunately, through that entire um, situation, uh, we, we lost my brother. He actually never made it home from the, the hospital after he was born. And, and at that moment, um, just at 10 years old, I, I can remember getting filled with so much anger, just anger and hatred, um, resentment towards God, um, towards my dad, just, a, just an angry, kid growing into an angry teenager. Um, but fortunately, despite that, I had a mom that loved Jesus and was a, a, a praying mama. And she had a group of praying friends. And one of those people being a, a lady named Miss B. And, and Miss B, through, through just years of knowing my mom and, and coming to love our family and, and she would just pray, intercede, asking God to, to do something there in me. And, and when I was in high school, Miss B became convinced that I was supposed to go on this trip that the church was doing to Hollywood, California. And so I ended up going. Uh, I didn't really know what I was getting into, but I, I went. And I remember that first night, um, they had taken us out on Hollywood Boulevard. So we're just walking around and it was wild, just a whole nother world. I noticed that there's this big group of people um, that, that I was with on the trip, all kind of standing in this big kind of group and circled around somebody. And so I walk over and, and they're all circled around this old homeless guy on the street. And I walk up and try to figure out what's going on. And, and this guy is like street preaching right here on the street, but not like hell, fire and brimstone. But this guy is just, he's talking about Jesus. He's quoting all these Bible verses, you know, not knowing what was going on, why just listening to this guy, but it was just God's hand on me at that moment. And I don't know how long I ended up being there, um, but it was getting late and that crowd had kind of dwindled down. And, and one of the volunteers came over to where we were at to let us know, hey, we got to get back to, to where we're staying. As we're leaving, um, everybody's kind of going around saying goodbye to this guy and he's shaking everybody's hands, getting their names. And and when he comes to me, this guy grabs my hand and pulls me in and reads my mail. Like, I don't have words to express what happened at that moment, but this guy was telling me things about growing up and my past and specific situations. He was telling me things about that were going on currently. And then he started talking about these things that, that God wanted to do in and through my life and, and how much God had loved me and had sought sought after me. And it was like in that moment, this the lights just got turned on and something shifted inside of me. And I began to experience and kind of understand more this love that, that God had for me. Uh, but it was wild because it wasn't even just for me. It was this love that God had for other people as well through that. And, and one of those people being my own dad. And so at that, I mean, at that time, immediately, I just began praying for him. Praying, asking God to help me forgive, to, to let go of just this resentment and stuff that I had held on to, and praying that he would experience what, what I had experienced. Finally, I mean, it, it felt like forever. The light switch got flipped for him as well. Um, and, I, and I got the, the privilege and honor to baptize my own dad um, and see God working and changing him and transforming him to be to be more like Jesus. And it's just incredible now that, that I get to look and step back and watch him love on my own boys and be a grandpa and, and, and be engaged there and the work, the work that God has done and, and just blown away by the way that he chooses to work through the prayers of his people and that we have his ear, that we have the privilege of communicating with him through prayer and that he hears those prayers and honors them.